weaving friends. I hope you're having a great day and you're going to get some time to weave today. That's what I've been doing and I've come up across a little problem that I thought I could share with you because I'm sure that it's something that would apply to many of us. I'm getting very close to the end of my warp. You can see my back rod is here so I really don't have much weaving distance left. Something that starts to happen when we get to this sort of short warp at the end is that when I go into the up, up shed, I can have some threads sort of hanging. I'm not getting a clear enough shed as I was before. And this is especially a problem when I go into the down shed. I find that I have this horrible shed that's got threads going up and down that makes it really difficult to weave. But as usual, there is a way to work around this and I'm going to show you how. Here's the view from the side. You can see how skinny my shed has become there and how many of the top threads are just coming down and wanting to join up with the bottom threads. I'm really wanting to use the rest of this warp. I know it's only a little bit, but still, we pay for these threads. We want to get the best out of them. As I said, it's the down shed that's causing me the most trouble here, so that's the one that I'm going to focus on doing something about. So I've got a pickup stick here, even though I'm not using a pickup stick to make a pattern or anything. I'm just doing some plain weave here. But I'm going to use a pickup stick to clear this shed initially. So I'm going to go in and see which threads are causing the most trouble. If I lift this up, I've actually uh, double threaded this. So I've got two threads in each slot. And I just want to check on every space that there are in fact Two threads and there are so that means that where my pickup stick is right now that's a nice clean shed so I'm going to pop that on edge and put it up fairly close to the reed I'm just going to bring in my stick shuttle and prop that up as well so that I can remove the pickup stick and I'm going to use it at the back so I'm going to insert it into the shed. There should be a fairly clean shed for you as long as you insert close to the reed. And I'm going to pop that in there and I'm going to keep it there. Now, when I come to weave my down shed, I'm already in the down shed, I'm going to use this stick and put it on edge. Now, look at the difference. I've got a beautiful clean shed. I can just shoot the shuttle through instead of trying to pick my way through all of those threads, those naughty threads. Then when I come to the up shed, I'm going to want to put that stick back flat, but it can just sit there and stay there. You don't have to pull it out every time. Okay. Now the, the up shed, your shed is going to be a little bit slimmer because this pickup stick is kind of holding the threads that should be going right down up a little bit. But it's still a clean shed just as long as you realize it's a slimmer shed. So I can still get my shuttle through there fine by staying close to the reed and staying closer to the upper threads as well. Okay, no problem. And then I come to my down shed again and I just repeat putting my stick on edge and going straight through that beautiful clean shed that we now have. This is such a time saver. And now instead of getting frustrated and cutting my threads off early, I'm going to keep weaving until it won't let me weave anymore. If you enjoyed this video, you may want to consider visiting my online weaving school where I have subscriptions by monthly and yearly basis and I also have a lot of single purchase classes available. Please go over there and have a look. I will have the link underneath this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share my videos. That really helps me out. Until next time, happy weaving.